Hello, uh, welcome back to the course on audio signal processing for music applications. We have been talking about sinusoids since the very beginning. Sinusoids are at the core of what we will be doing in this week uh, in the DFT. Uh, sinusoids are part of the DFT and in order to understand the DFT it's, uh, it's fundamental to understand uh, sinusoids. So in this class I want to uh, teach how to program uh, sinusoids, how to code uh, sinusoids and in particular we will uh, be playing around with two types of sine waves. The real sine wave which is a, a, a sequence of numbers, in real numbers that uh, can be computed by uh, calling this function. So it has a, an amplitude, a capital A and we can call the, the function cosine with an argument which uh, is 2 pi with a frequency and the time index n is a time index uh, without a discrete and then the capital T is the sampling period and then we have an initial phase and then we will uh, also uh, compute uh, a complex sine wave the ones that appear in uh, the DFT these are complex uh, sine waves that are discrete and uh, they, don't, they do not uh, have any time uh, information so it's just uh, with a, an index n and the frequency is an integer value so these uh, complex sine waves are always periodic for a given capital N so we define a capital N which is going to be the size of the DFT and then these uh, complex uh, um, signs are always uh, have a, no, uh, a fixed number and, uh, of uh, periods within uh, that n and this depends on k so in fact k is the number also of periods within that capital N so to um, write some code to implement these uh, sine waves we need to open up a text editor in this case gedit and we can start typing uh, Python commands um, that then will be uh, part of a file, will be a script that then we can execute uh, uh, using Python. Okay, so we first need some packages and typical packages that we will always need. Uh, one is the, the library for plotting, matplotlib, uh, particularly uh, PyLab and we will call it uh, PLT then um, we will always need NumPy and uh, this will be our uh, package for uh, playing around with uh, vectors and arrays uh, now we can start uh, typing code so defining the sinusoid, the real sinusoid so the real sinusoid uh, has an amplitude and let's define an amplitude of 0.8 it has a frequency, let's say F0 uh, that uh, in hertz, let's say a thousand hertz and it has an initial phase phi uh, let's say uh, pi over 2 pi is a variable defined in the numpy package so we, that's why we put np dot pi and now we need uh, the sampling rate because we need uh, to compute uh, the sampling period or we need to display the, the real sine wave in time so the, our typical sampling rate will be 44,100 Okay. Now, um, since we do vector operations for the time index, we will define an array uh, and we will be using uh, uh, this function arrange from NumPy that uh, allows us to define uh, a range of uh, values and an increment and then automatically it uh, computes all the values between these two uh, uh, limits so this will be an array of uh, floating point numbers going from minus 0.002 to 0.002 in the increments of 1 over fs or capital T which is a sampling period and now we are ready to uh, compute the our function so it will be uh, amplitude a times cosine and in the argument will be the 2 pi so 2 times np dot pi times the frequency okay, times the time index which is uh, the t array 
and then we need to sum the initial phase uh, phi and it will be our uh, time function our sinusoid and in order to plot it what we will do is uh, to plot the time array with respect to the x values and a good practice is to define uh, axis uh, values so for example in this case the axis in the, the horizontal axis goes from minus 0 0.002 to 0 0.002 and in the vertical axis will go from minus 0 0.8 to 0 0.8 Okay, this will define the axis, so what we are seeing in the plot. And then also it's good practice to label the axis, so we need to label the x uh, axis so with uh, an x label, and uh, the x label will be time. Okay, and then we need to uh, label also the y axis, so with the y label, and that will be uh, amplitude. Okay, and that's it. Uh, the only thing left is to call the, the show uh, command so that it will display. And hopefully if I didn't type anything wrong, it, uh, can, uh, it can be computed. So we save it under name sign.py. Okay, let's... And we can go to the terminal. And here we have the sign.py file and we can execute it by tapping python and sign.py okay it gives me an error uh, that says that um, okay I type uh, wrong uh, the, the name of the package I had to type pyplot not py, pyplot and now that I see also the cosine is uh, wrong it's a cosine is a function within numpy so I have to put mp.cosine okay so two bugs already let's uh, execute it and now it's okay okay we have um, a sinusoid uh, we have uh, the time in uh, seconds the uh, horizontal axis time zero is in the middle and the amplitude is in the vertical axis and so we have uh, four periods of uh, this uh, sine wave Okay, uh, now let's go for the uh, complex sine wave, which is going to be a little bit more uh, uh, complicated. The packages are going to be the same, so let's type it here, so we might uh, be able to reuse some of this code. So the first thing we will need to do is to define uh, the variable capital N, which is going to be our uh, array uh, length, uh, or sort of like in the case of the DFT, the size of the DFT and let's say it's uh, 500 and the frequency is going to be an integer so let's say k equals 3 and then in terms of the, the index in the time index is going to be uh, integer values so it's going to be uh, and we can just easily just say np arrange and we can display it from uh, minus n over 2 to n over 2 okay that will be uh, the time indexes that will be created and now we are um, ready to compute the complex sine wave so the complex exponential uh, is a function that exists in numpy so we just say np.exp and now in terms of the arguments for uh, j we just say 1j then it's 2 pi so 2 times np dot pi then we multiply by k we multiply by n and we divide by capital N and that's uh, our uh, complex sine wave and um, in order to display it well we cannot display the complex in a 2D uh, representation so what we will do is we will display uh, well n and against the real part of s so in order to do that we will say np real and we will uh, get s okay and this will display the real part of this complex sine wave 
and now again we might want to uh, have some specific access labels so the access will go in this case from minus n over 2 to n over 2 in this case minus 1 because a 0 is also one of the values and then in terms of the vertical axis we just say from minus 1 to 1 because it's normalized to to 1 okay and then uh, for the labels the x label uh, we will say that is just uh, the n uh, n indexes and for the the y label the same thing we have uh, the amplitude okay and that uh, that should do it uh, the only thing uh, left is again the 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 show command and that should do it so if i delete this uh, other part uh, and i save it under the same name so it's the sign Hopefully, if I don't have any error, okay, it uh, displays the real part of the complex sine wave, which is a cosine, so at time zero is one, and it has exactly three periods, which is k, k specified three, which means three periods within this uh, capital N. Now, if instead of the real part, we want to display the imaginary part, um, can uh, compute again and this is the uh, sine part so at time zero it's a sine wave and it's three periods of uh, the sine function okay so in the DFT what we're doing is uh, for different ends so in the case the n is the DFT size for example, let's change uh, the n, let's put uh, 32, for example. And then k uh, is uh, one of the sinusoids of the DFT. So, for example, let's put uh, uh, number 5. So, let's close this. And if we execute this, this will look a little bit different. Okay. So, this is uh, much fewer samples. It's only 32 samples. And there is five periods of, uh, of, uh, of the, in this case, the imaginary part of the sine wave. But, of course, we have few samples per period, so that, that's why we see it so jacked. Uh, but anyway, this is a, a computed uh, a sine wave, and uh, is the kind of sine wave that we will be using in the DFT. And that's uh, basically all I wanted to say. Um, so we have uh, been uh, in this class we have been talking about uh, sine waves and we have been uh, explaining how to code them using uh, Python specifically uh, we needed uh, two packages NumPy and matplotlib uh, NumPy is going to be a fundamental package for handling uh, all these arrays uh, that we'll be uh, using and matplotlib will always need it because we'll always be plotting things and that's all. Uh, so this was uh, the first programming uh, lab, uh, first uh, lecture in this uh, second week. So in, in, the, in the next uh, programming lecture, we'll actually we'll go into the DFT. So we will go into how to program the complete DFT. Sinusoid is one part. Now we'll put it together into uh, programming the DFT. So I hope to see you next class. Thank you.